The president's daughter, Charlene Ruto, has been training for the past few days. And one of the reasons she has been trending is the rumors that she is dating gospel artist Daddy Owen. Now, I know you've probably heard these rumors and they almost seem true. Expect that we all can't prove that they're actually dating. Though they have been spotted together one or two times. Recently, there is an event that took place and this event is actually what has sparked these rumors even more. Now, Charlene Ruto went to visit Daddy Owen in his home. Like, kwao alipeleka. It's like Daddy Owen alipeleka. Charlene Ruto kwao akamiti the family and stuff. That's how many people are looking at it. And so, hence the rumors. Also, before that event, there was also another event. If you do remember, up around December, during the festive season, Charlene Ruto and Daddy Owen, together with a team of other people, decided to spread the festivity mood they decided to you know share and so they took to the streets walk up under mat mojambili tattoo they catered for transportation that everyone who was in that mat in those mat tattoos and also walk our pair 2000 watt vouchers each each person got that so because of those two major events we are now having these rumors and now butita believes that uki date Mtoto our president, it will not be dating, it will be a job. Listen to his sentiments. Hey, Daddy Owen, hey, Daddy Owen, Nashalin Bruto, rumors as it kuna vile. Eh, maybe ni rumors, uh, maybe ni ukweli, maybe it's true, maybe it's wongo. But kama ni ukweli, hey, basi Daddy Owen akona kazi. Daddy Owen, you are my friend, wacha ni kwambie, dating first daughter, in case you're dating Shalin. Hiyo si dating, hiyo ni kazi, hiyo ni obligation ni kama kulipa ushuru eh? unajua huyu hata ahitaji password kuona text zako hawa kwa wako na DCI wako na yes anyway ni simu tu utakuwa unapata kutoka Kiamburud halo hapa ni DCI huyu karo ni nani yani wewe we jua saa hii ni mapenzi ambayo ni kazi hakuna ti kufuriana kwa nyumba mnafuriana kidogo alafu one subaru inakufuata Kwa vio talia kwa hiyo barabara Mbona 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 eh, Apo wakuna ti solving Marriage issues na wazazi Wazazi wako busy Mzazi ni president Ukiwa na issue ni DOD Chill ni ya ulinzi mkubwa Wende uambie mafisa wakijeshi <laughs> Kwa nini unakasirisha mtoto wa komanda <laughs> Ive dakika tatu, heleze hawa majeshi. Iyo <laughs> saluti yako liku napigia kwa mziki. Vuda hey, unataka kuona moto. Lakini all the best kama ni ukweli. Na kama ni uongo waka hadi kwe ukweli. So do you agree with Butita or not? And now, Daddy Owen was asked this question by an interviewer. And this was his reaction. Pole kwa hii lakini watu anda kujua. Raisa meitisha mwende kato. Pole kwa hii lakini watu anda kujua Raisa meitisha mwende ngapi ndugu yangu Juba Habu hindi maibu nipake Mwashi ni meitisha mwende ngapi ndugu yangu Juba Alisema ataki zumzu I'll not discuss I'll not discuss anything I'll not discuss anything That it involves someone else Who is not here It's not right So when it comes to that matter I plead with you. Yeah. It's okay. Poor letter. So he didn't say no, meaning that, but maybe kuna possibility. Charlene Ruto has also been trending because of her hair. And who would think that a whole country would be invested in a lady's hair? But I mean, Kenyans have been all about on social media critiquing. Charlene, <laughs> critiquing Charlene's hair, most of them telling her to comb her hair. Memes have been there about this. And one lady going by the name Sue Gashambi decided to openly speak about it and address it. And so she did this video. 
like your nanny, Charlene, baby girl. You look, you look so beautiful, girl. You look so beautiful. Your orange, ime kutoa. You look so beautiful. Your hair is on point. Tunataka kukuwa naivi, my dear. You look so beautiful. Oh, my God. Woo. Sasa, uyu ni daughter wa president wetu. Uyo mwingine hatu kwa tunajua ni nani. Uwe, uyo mwingine. <laughs> and the irony of ironies happens here. Now Nyako countered Suga Shambi by saying that it is not okay to bully people on social media because it can actually affect people. Therefore, it is not okay to bully Shalin Ruto and to say bad things about her. So this is what Nyako said. In a way of being famous, you are expected to behave in a certain way, to dress in a certain way, to drive a certain car, to belong to a certain class, to go to a certain restaurant, to live a certain lifestyle, to date people of the hierarchy. Guys! Now, why is this an irony? I mean, we all know that on TikTok, the biggest bully we have is... Nyako here. Now, Shalin Ruto, I guess, got to see the comments that Kenyans were making online and she decided to redo her hair and girl alitokea to Akiwa Anapo. I mean, after seeing that video, ata mini kiwa dadio in siwezi wacha iyo mali. I've been your girl, Rai Wangari. Keep it here on BNN, where with the bees like to keep it buzzing.